Hey everyone, uh, today is January 17th, 2018, it's a Wednesday, and today we're going to be continuing to play some Astroneer, thanks for coming by. Uh, by the way, uh, thanks to uh, Caleb3399 for that follow during the intro, uh, much appreciated. Oh, I should actually change the screen, here we are. So, um, yeah, last time in Astroneer we... Went to the irradiated planet. Um, just set up a, just a set up a very basic underground base. And today I'd like to try to explore the planet a bit more, probably underground. And um, we'll go from there. As I mentioned, uh, I mean we're starting to get to the end of the content. I think. Whoa, uh, for this game. But we're gonna see here. That's a weird glitch there. It looks like it looked like there was land on top of this, but I guess that's not a thing. Alright, so here we are in our base. It's pretty cramped in here, now that I think about it. Um, and we also have some power issues that we should uh, try to... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Try to uh, figure out. Um... Just gotta th I'm just going to do a little inventory here. So we got some resin over here. And a few tethers. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a few of these. And some compound and some more resin. And we've got two underground cave entrances. One goes this way toward those bobs over there. Um, if I had some power, I'd try to kill them right now, but... I need to deal with that. And there's another entrance down here. Not sure where that goes. I'll probably ex explore the explore, explore them in a bit. Oh, uh, we got our rover here, which is actually pretty low power as well. We need to build a seat for that. And we also got the uh, other cave entrance, which I haven't really explored yet. I think at the very least, I'm just going to poke up here for a sec. I have no power, but at least I have some... Oxygen. I just want to see what the heck's up on up here on this side of the cave. Ooh. So over there is a shuttle uh, landing spot. There's another uh, sarlacc pit. Oh yeah, that's oh that noise is because I. If I disconnect myself from the tether, yeah, I lose all power. There doesn't seem to be very much interesting going on here. It's pretty dark and eventful over here. So we'll just come, maybe come back here in a bit. But, uh, yeah. Power is an issue. Maybe if, maybe I should try to... Oh, here comes another storm. Or maybe, or maybe that's just the cave. Bit, it's a bit difficult from under here whether whether I'm under uh, under a storm or not. But I need to do something. Um, and this is the problem. Uh, I had no real plans. To be honest, there was the water tur or so not the water turbine, the wind turbine that we could grab from the main base or the moon base, I should say. We grab that and then bring it down here. Then we can at least have some power. We could also steal maybe a solar panel or two from there. Um, yeah, maybe that actually might be the best course of action. So let's go actually go back to the moon base for a bit. Got some fuel there. I think we have plenty of fuel to go there and come back. Oh, we. Oh, I forgot to offload my copper. Whoops. Uh, I think we're okay, actually. We'll just get out of here. So, you see those things at the very bottom here? This little part? I think that's our rover. And for whatever reason, it seems, it seems to be following us around. It seems to be stuck floating there. I don't know. We've gone back to the moon several times, and I... We haven't been able to reset it or bring it back to the surface. So, we'll just need to wait a bit. Um, there's the uh, 
moon base or our barren planet. It's going to come into range right now. Anyway, uh, for folks in chat, um, just wondering how how's it going? Like uh, it's a Wednesday. It's not sure if you're. As Fred was mentioning, he's a uh, not is a uh, school's having a snow day because of what I what suspects to be very. Even though it may not have been snowing, he was telling me uh, it might might have been because of very icy conditions in his area. So fortunately, he can just go come and watch my stream, which is, uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, I have to, I have to select the right, uh, you can actually see the base very faintly down there. I think it's actually this lower circle, but could be wrong. We might land in the, the natural landing spot. Oh yeah, yeah. That, the lower, I guess, the lower circle is the wrong one. Okay, so here we back on the moon base. Oh, hey, Thomas, or also known as Blob Studios. Welcome to my stream. Okay, so we got this medium wind turbine. We found that it's not useful on the moon, or at least I've never seen it rotate very much. So we're going to take it over to the radiant plant. Uh, if I can attach it properly. Oh, I've decided to attach on that end. Okay. Blob Studio says, Thought I'd pop in and see how a frumple stream works before I magically appear on the next one. Cool. Thanks for coming by, Thomas. Now the question is, should we take a solar? Because I know on the radiant planet, it's I don't know how effective it'll be. I think for testing purposes, I think we should. I mean, it's not going to be really used for anything else here. There's nothing really being powered on the moon, so let's recycle. Let's bring that over here. And I think we have one extra slot for something. Uh, if, if, I, if we had the rover back, I'd be going down to the moon base and collecting stuff, but... Unfortunately, fortunately, that's it's gone off somewhere. I can't even see it there. There's still that. There's still a medium storage floating over there, which is hilarious. Ooh, there's a piece of malachite here. Let's grab that. Uh, got some coal. We could build a medium generator down on the radio plant and take some coal with us. But I don't know if how useful. Oh, actually, here's some lithium. At the very least, we could build a battery on the radiate plant. We'll use that lithium there. Um, I think we also have some lithium on the radiate plant, but I don't, can't remember. And if, if worse comes to worse, we could come back and grab some of these batteries. If we really wanted to. Let me take this fuel here. But um, as far as I'm concerned, this base... As much as, as much as I like it, it's pretty much abandoned, like... I mean, it has all the facilities we need, but there's... I don't have any... specific resources here. Just a bunch of thrusters and a... zebra ball. <laughs> so... I think we're gonna... I think I'm gonna just bring a me an empty medium storage, because I don't want to rebuild... all of that over there, so let's just bring that along. Let's go back. Uh, so I was saying uh, from Monday's stream, this today's stream for Ashtar may be one of the last ones. I'm not sure whether I'll be whether whether, whether today I'll be, I guess, ending my Ashtar run or maybe on uh, on maybe next maybe sometime next week. Um, I have nothing really scheduled. Uh, except, well, nothing really scheduled for the middle of the week. Um, just as a reminder, uh, on Sunday is the general staff meeting for the MRT server, so I'm going to be streaming that. And then Friday, or not, not this Friday, but next Friday, I'll be uh, playing Railway Empire, which is on, on its release day. So I think that'll be... I'm looking forward to that, because that's a lot in... I feel like that's a lot more in tune with the theme of my channel. 
uh, both on Twitch and YouTube. It is a train game or a, or a railway game. So I think people will actually want to watch that instead of maybe this stuff. But so far, I'm not regretting playing it this game. Like this, it's a nice chill game. It's good for streaming, I think. I mean, people are watching it. Blob Studio says, Blob Studio says, I've not played much of this game, but I have no idea you could fly ships in space. Oh no, there, there are multiple planets. We've only explored three of them so far. And this planet's probably the most dangerous. The This is the radiated planet. Out there in the distance, you can see, I think that's the tundra planet. It's like a blue and red sort of color. And uh, let's go back to home base. Benny's saying, uh, yeah, let's check out the poles on the radiated. Yeah, we could we can try to do that, maybe. The problem is we're, we're low on... Oh! Well, okay. Let, well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hold on here. Let me see if I can get out of this. No, I think I'm stuck. Yeah, no. Well, the shuttle looks like it's... What it automatically does, it tries to land on the vehicle bay, and even though it's we're underground, it's uh, blew into there. Uh, I guess I should have expected this to happen. The problem is I can't actually exit because of the way it's landed, so it might be because... It's also funny that it's right next to uh, Bob the plant over there. So I can't actually exit the shuttle, so it looks like I have to launch again. But what we sh what, what, I, what we should see, yeah, it just went, went to the ground here. There's actually should be two landing spots. One is the natural landing spot that we use to get to, get near that base, and the one is the other one is uh, created by the vehicle bay. So I just need to choose the right uh, circle. Um, it's a little unfortunate that they can't uh, get out of there. That'd be really useful. I just maybe I need to. Rework the land around there, or something. And we're also getting a bit low on... Yeah, we're less than half of our fuel. We have a, f a few resource, or reserves, here we could just pop in, but... Um, I hope we can find some... Well, I'm, well, honestly, anything on this planet, because... Uh, we're getting low. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to land... You can see there's a base there, but I'm not going to click that circle. I'm going to click the one overlapping it. And that's where we uh, lifted off from the first place. Also interesting, the wind turbine's turning when there's no... there's not supposed to be any wind in space. Alright. Okay, uh, before we do this, let's... I'm just gonna quickly top off our fuel. Do that. Don't think this is going to be enough to fill everything. So we need to find some ammonium. We, we basically need to find everything. Um, ideally, if there was any compound or resin on here, that would also be very useful. But somehow I don't. I haven't seen it so far on this planet. And I somehow doubt that we're going to find it. Thomas says, solar winds, Frumpel, geez. Well, if it's a solar wind, I think I think it would operate on different, different <laughs> uh, physics. I think I think it would look a little more like a sail rather than a turbine like this. Okay, so let's bring down. Let's do a bit of testing. So obviously, if I put the wind turbine here, like if I expand the base. All the way up to here and then put it there that's that's a good way of getting wind but also there is potential for wind down underground so I'm just gonna put it down there for a bit and see if that helps in it at all yep see you see you Thomas thanks for coming by so I mean we could just put the wind turbine there but I don't think it's gonna do anything and we are totally out of power. Uh, the solar array, I think, obviously makes sense up here. So let's 
let's expand the base. Let's get up there. And the question is, should I go... Should I try expanding it this direction? Or should I try maybe expanding it that direction? The problem with this direction is it's kind of steep. I don't know how easy it'll be to get up there. It's kind of shorter, though. Whereas over here, it's a little less steep, but at least get up to this part. Let's see if I can... i just dig this part a little bit here. Get rid of these, uh... Stalagmites. Do I have, not have a canister? Oh. oh. I have a canister of fuel. Whoops. So I actually don't have an empty canister, so I can't do soil right now. Hold on. Let me go dump this fuel canister. Or at least put it back into our spaceship. And then I'll actually go back there. Uh, Bogdanel in chat. Um, I've already explained to you why you've been banned from the MRT server. And you've already had a chance to send in your ban appeal. So you're out of luck. And I've already told you to not contact staff anymore. Yeah, uh, uh, I've always, I was, I was th always thinking this was, was going to happen. This, people who have been banned from the MRT server are probably going to come on he onto my Twitch channel and start either begging to come back on the server or, or just troll and do all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah. Bugjangle, you're welcome to watch the stream, but uh, your chance of getting back on the server is, well, you've already had that chance. So I would ask that you don't ask uh, ask about your ban on here. Do find some ladder, right? Maybe I shouldn't really be doing that. I I have no power whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, let's expand in this direction. I don't feel comfortable with the other way. So let's see. I need. Well, let's let's first dump our. Ooh, it's a weird noise. Let's dump our ladder, right? and lithium. And what else do we need? We need resin. Which we have a lot of, or at least we have a... For now we do have reserves of that. I will put one here. It's gonna take a while. I'm hoping that this will continue going up... upwards. Yeah, no, ooh. Yeah, you see, it's it's still going down, which is not exactly what I want. I've never run out of power, great. Oh, bye, Bogdanel. Uh, okay, so we got our turbine. I think I need to go back to the shuttle and bring the solar panel down. Or at least recharge over there, because... Uh, yeah, this is it's a little bit difficult getting anything done without any power. So where is that solar panel? It's over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't flipped open for some reason. So we'll just put it on that slot there and recharge it a little bit. Even though it's connected to the tethers, I'm not sure if it's actually going to feed power to us down the tethers. 
doesn't look like it is, but uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe the shuttle itself could act as a temporary power source for now. You can see the rovers charge a little bit. I wonder if that's coming from the wind turbine. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so we've expanded this. This went down a bit, which is not, not what I want. I'm going to try to encourage it, maybe. I'm not sure it's going to work to go upward, but... It's not really clear to me how the game determines whether it'll go up or down. You can only choose the direction where it goes, or the horizontal direction, not the vertical direction. Let's try to expand. So this one seems to go up a bit. That's promising. Okay, that's good. So maybe if we do another one of those, it'll at least get up to here, and that's open airspace, so that should be good enough for good enough for wind and solar. Let's try it again. Okay, that one went a little bit. Not, not as far as the last one. Probably need... Let's, we'll need, probably need to build two more before we can put down our wind and solar. Let's go grab it now. Yeah, let's grab the third one just in case. So let's dig this out a little bit. Uh, anyway, while I'm doing this, um, I had a question for people watching. So, so far I've been streaming... I'm not, I'm not a full-time streamer by any means. But I've started off with a schedule of, you know, at least maybe three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday seems to be the, the best days. I'm wondering if I should go take the plunge and try full-time. Full I mean, I don't have anything else, much else to do. Oh, that looked... Ooh, that's a nice staircase there. That actually worked out pretty well here. You can actually see... That it's actually a, a very specific length between each of these. So if it goes up, um, it won't have very much horizontal distance as compared to maybe something like this one down here. Fred says there should be more options for energy, like geothermal heating and nuclear power and something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I agree. I'm a little surprised they haven't added into the game yet. Um, yeah, if you, certain planets might have more geothermal vents, that would be pretty cool. Okay, there's a storm coming, so let's go. Let me grab the ladder right here. Uh, we don't have a smelter on this planet, so I'm not sure going to be too useful. Okay, that's that, here comes that storm. Uh, one second here. Um, just need to ban someone from the room. The uh, thing is, with, with people from the when you run a Minecraft server, you, you're going to run into people who just simply don't understand what you're telling them. Yeah, it's quite annoying. But, uh... Okay. So... Alright. Well, we'll wait for the storm to pass. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's passing by now. Let's bring up the wind turbine. Yeah, I could do daily streaming. Um, the one thing I'd, that's something I, I'm a little concerned about is when I'm streaming, I do get quite tired, especially if I'm streaming for a long time. Uh, three to four hours seems to be my limit on a daily basis, so I'm not sure maybe I, if I take more breaks or do something like that, maybe that'll maybe that'll help. But um, yeah. 
I could either do longer streams on fewer days, or maybe streams stream every day. Ooh, that storm is loud. So I'm not sure. I think I like... I think I'll wait for the storm to pass for a sec, because I think it's a little difficult for you guys to hear. Uh, where... Feels like there's a second storm on there. Let's get back up here. I'm gonna grab the solar panel. The one thing I do like about just having Monday, Wednesday, Friday is it, it is it is like a one day on, one day off sort of situation. So, you know, if I need to do anything like in real life, like at groceries or something, or just do. Oh. Okay, that was a weird glitch. I mean, this. I think there's a glitch with the sound of the storms because, or the storm sounds, because it just sort of just abruptly ended, and there's clearly no storm happening. This plant's a little weird. But as I said, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I like because it's a one day on, one day off. I get to. If I need to take a break, I don't have to, don't have to feel pressured. I actually use the days off to process the video. So I, so I uh, render that on my computer and then upload that. It doesn't take, it took a long time when I was streaming 1080p, but uh, now that we're doing 720p instead, it's not taking as long. Okay. So we've got at least one wind and one solar. Uh, the solar panel is not even, not even opening up, which is a little... Concerning. Uh, it c does kind of it does kind of confirm my theory. The sun doesn't really come out too often on this planet. So I, see, I do see a glow there. Maybe it is starting to come out. I guess we'll see it in a sec when, uh, if if we do start getting power from it, either of those, it should start flowing down here into our base, and then we it'll charge some of our uh, buildings here. Yeah. So yeah, for now, I think I'll stick with Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and also any all, any streams on the weekends or the MRT. Um, and if I want to change, if I'll change that, I'll, I'll 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 let people know on like the social medias. Let's put this ladder right away. I think at this point we're just waiting to see if power is going to come in, come down here, come from the heavens above, in, in a sense. Uh, I think in the meantime we can. I think I'll bring my. Let's let's continue offloading the shuttle. We still had that uh, full load of copper, which I forgot to offload last time. So let me go get that. I do, I do like this, to be honest, I think I do like roughing it in the radiated plant. Because we definitely have a scarcity of resources. So I'm we have to be a bit careful. That said, I do like it when we have lots of resources, like too much. Like when we were on that moon base, we had like so much stuff. And now, now we're just sort of just surviving here. Plus the loss of that rover on the moon was just, to be honest, pretty devastating. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but nothing seems to be happening. Okay, the sun's coming out. This thing is still just sitting there. I'm not sure. I mean, it is exposed to the sky. Oh wow, that is a very slow sunrise. I wonder if compared to the moon, maybe this planet doesn't... has a very slow cycle. Seems like that. That's a nice sunrise, though. I hope this thing opens. Come on, open the sesame. There we go. All right, so we have power, Captain. And 
it's all flowing into all our buildings. And our rover, too. So we should be able to start building a... Let's build a one-seater on here, and then we can maybe start exploring the cave a bit. Benny says, some plants have a 20-minute night cycle. So the wiki says, is that a, Benny, is that 20 minutes in night, or is that 20 minutes day and night? Okay, I'm just going to wait for this thing to charge up. Okay. So we'll open one seat. We need some compound. So let's put that in there. Let's turn that on. Okay. So, uh, let me see here. We need tethers. I'm always seeing these single pieces of power which don't seem to drain out. I'm not sure what to do with them, to be honest. I think there's actually one here. Yeah, there's another one over here. I'm not sure if you guys have, uh, Benny or any others have seen this, but... Yeah, that when you have these power cells, they don't fully drain out. Actually, if I put that put it on the rover, would it do anything? Oops, I can't place it in. But he says it I think it's twenty day and night, not really sure, going by what the wiki says. Yeah, okay, so the wiki is not really clear on that. Should we build anything else on our rover? Three seat. Uh crane's a bit too much. A large storage... Uh, maybe? I mean, I don't think it'll make a difference. We don't... Yeah, I think we're just gonna scout down there instead. So let's... Let me just dump... Some of my stuff. We're gonna keep the boost mod and... This canister. So I'll just put this Malachite away. Yeah, we're just gonna explore. We're not gonna bring any tethers. The... The vehicle will be our base of operations down there. I think we're going to go down this cave first. And I've already seen there's a hole, so hold on. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, lots of alien life here. Let's kill the alien life. Because aliens are bad. Another cave down there. Oh dear. There's like. S kind of looks like there's another layer, a level, I guess, to this cave down there. Which is not great because I can't really. Oh, I'm gonna lose that rover if I'm not careful. Let's back out of here. Ah! No, oh, no! Crap. Crap. Okay, well, we're down here now. Let's try to kill these things. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, we're, we're right on top. Some, uh, we're right on top of some of these things. Let me try killing these. So let me see if I can find a way back. Let's try I'm gonna try digging a sort of side tunnel here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a little ramp up the side here. At least for me to get back to base here. It's not the Oh, there's my research. Okay. Yeah, this is this wasn't the best spot for our vehicle bay, it seems, because it just goes essentially straight down. So I'm gonna have to dig this probably dig this um, part out here. Nope, I lost a tether. Come back. So technically I don't think I need this tether anymore. 
actually into my backpack. Okay. So... Uh, my bearings here. Oh, yeah. So this goes... Oh, that... So this goes back up to the... Okay. I figured it out. Let me dig this out here. I'm gonna reconnect the tethers. Here we go. Back up to the shuttle. Got this weird... Outcropping there. Oh, now finally killed this thing. Let's, uh... Pop that down there. And, okay, those the seeds disappeared, so that's good. Still got a bunch of seeds over here. I'm gonna kill those. Okay. So I'm not sure if the rover can go back up there. Maybe. But at least we now we have a clear way. The, the cave just... Oh, look at all those bobs down there. Ugh. And up here, too. Jeez. I mean, we can... We gotta choose a direction. I'm gonna try going this way. I haven't seen too much in terms of... resources yet, though. Just a lot of... ugly aliens. Fred asks, what happens if you land on Bob's head? Probably death. And I don't think I want to try that. Try pulling these out. Yes, yeah, they disappear on their own. Which is a good thing. I kind of feel like this planet, because of all the alien life, life that you see, maybe this might be a good planet to get research, but... We don't need research anymore. I, I need resources. And in terms of resources, I'm not really impressed with this cave so far. It seems like... This cave seems to split into two. This top cave over here might come back around to the other side of our base, because we're pretty much under... The base is kind of... We're kind of right underneath it, I think. Now let's keep going. I'm going to... Clear some stalagmites, though. No, Benny, I'm not going to try it. I... I'm not in that kind of relationship with, uh, Bob. Okay, so that killed off that. Ooh, there's a wreck over here. That's good. But, uh... Don't know if it'll give us much in terms of resources. Got some gas bags here. Yeah, so far, I don't see any resources. Like... All I see is just... Hostile aliens all over the place. Let me go back to the rover and bring it closer. Might have to, uh, dig this part out. There we go. Oh, also, our, our rover has limited power, so we gotta be careful of that. I don't... I haven't actually... I also don't, don't see any, like, power cells down here. So we might be in trouble if I'm not careful. Okay, I think that's close enough for now. I have to climb back up to base. Okay, let's dig out this... satellite. I have a feeling, though, it might be... It might just have a piece of dynamite or something. Because that's what I usually expect from these sort of things. Can't really turn it around though. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, see right there. There's a piece of dynamite. Ooh, that's totally useful. That's totally the resource that I need right now. Ugh. Let's. Let's gonna. Spoil. Okay, here's some power. That's good. So maybe. I mean that'll be at least useful for a rover, but I need more than that. Oh, there's some power there too. Uh, actually, let me go... Oh, no, let's stick this onto our rover. Looks like it needs a little juicing up. Yeah, get on there. There we go. Fred says, I, c I could use the dynamite on... Oh, there's another one here. 
I could use a dynamite on a bunch of plants. Maybe. Considering I don't have any other use for dynamite right now, maybe that might be a good idea. Just to see. See what'll happen. Oh, there's another piece. So, yeah. I don't have... Yeah, let's actually dump most of our power into the rover. Because I don't need some space on here. So, power, 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 power. I'll keep one piece of power for ourselves. Let's me grab... Oh, that was a big... That was a bit of a fall. Let's go this way. Oh, uh... Alright, so we found, found some lithium, which is good. So it looks like this plant does have lots of lithium. That's that's one plus side of this planet. And that's actually quite a quite a lot of lithium. I think I got two actually three whole pieces from that. That's nice. And then I just spotted some coal on the ceiling here. Oh, there's a plant there. Oh, no, too close there. And got some gas bags floating around. I gotta kill those. We looks like we've entered some sort of very large cavern over here. Just deal with some gas bags. Stupid gas bags. What is this? This one? I know. Okay, so some more gas bags over here. Just eradicate them. Oh, I see some ammonium over there, so that'll be useful for making more fuel. But, uh, yeah, I have not seen any other... There's no resin, no compound. I mean, we do see some laterite. And malachite. Ooh, some titanium. Oop. Okay, I think we'll bring the rover. I'll go get back to the rover and we'll bring the rover down here. Uh, where is the rover? Oh, it's actually quite quite a bit far. Plus, it has to go around the satellite, which is going to be a pain. Let me see if I can dislodge it. Ooh, yeah. dislodge some of these stalagmites too. Now it's, now it's kind of in a worse spot. Let me see if I can... There, we can go that way instead. Okay, now that, now that we have extra power, we can probably move the rover further down. Or at least I feel more confident with doing that. Let's go to the middle of this cave. So we got coal here. Got titanium here, which is not the most useful at the moment. What's this thing down here? Oh, it's some weird, weird piece of colored dirt. Malachite, that's going to be useful for uh, copper. And that thing. Oh, extra power. There's another piece of dynamite up there. Grab this piece of power again. Oh, hey, uh, Tangerabot. Uh, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still sliding. Whoops. Okay, I think we're going to come back to this cave. This seems to be finally something actually... Some, some actual resources we can use. But I would rather see, you know, some compound or resin instead. I, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a white research there, but we're not going to collect that. That's, as we've researched everything. Let's see what's over here. That laterite over there? Ooh, laterite, okay. So I'm just trying to get my bearings here just to see what's available. And it looks like it's pretty much everything except the stuff that I really want. No. Tanjirabot says, if I had Twitch Prime, I would sub. Oh! 
That's very kind of you, but uh, you don't have to sub if you don't, don't want to. But, uh, but I appreciate the sentiment. I've only I've only just gotten a Twitch affiliate, so uh, I don't really expect to get too many subs. I mean, most of my subs are mainly just my friends from in real life or the Minecraft server that I run. Okay, so we need to collect something. I'm gonna use... you know what, let's take this power off for now. So we get some capacity here. I think I'll put my dynamite on here. That's safe, I think it is. And these tethers, I'm just gonna drop off because it's taking up space. So we need... let's choose... well, let's put the lithium also on here. So we need to choose something and we want to take back. I think... Our power issues are pretty okay right now. I'm a little concerned about fuel. So the first thing I will do is get some ammonium. Because I want to at least establish, or at least get some fuel so we can get back to the moon base if we need to. Though I haven't, I'm not, it looks like ammonium might be pretty rare on this planet. This is the first time I've actually seen it. Yeah, that was a, not that much. Oh, my tethers flew away. I mean, so, I, so the rover's not recharging me. I have to charge myself. Let me put my, some power cells onto myself. Now you see the the last note of that power, like the whole power thing, just consumed itself. So I'm not sure why. What causes it to not do that? Well, it's actually charging my little battery on my gun right now. Okay, so we got our ammonium. What else should we get? Coal, maybe? Could could supply our... Uh, our... Uh, power situation, but I need a medium generator for that. I think I'll grab this malachite. I think I'll also maybe go over to back to onto that uh, left or right side and get more laterite. Because actually, I think we use a lot of our aluminum uh, to build our large rover and all that. So we need to do something about that. Can we? I think we're actually, but I think we're actually we actually run out of space. Um, I'm gonna actually leave the malachite here. My ammonium there. Grab a power slot here. Okay. So let me just go. I'm just gonna grab some more laterite. But yeah. No compound, no resin. And Benny, I don't know in your. Uh, reading of the wiki, does it say anything about the uh, composition of the radiated plant in terms of that resource? Because my theory right now is there's probably no compound or resin to be seen around here. And that is one of the most basic elements that we kind of need right now. Ooh, I don't want to fall in the... Eh, I don't want to fall into the hole there. I'll just grab this... Uh, Laterite by hand. See if if there is if there is no compound or resin on this planet, then we that means we need to get it from some other planet. And I mean the Terran planet would probably be the, the best one to do that. We could do a bit of we could do a few runs on there. But uh, I'm not sure how interesting that would be. Plus, we've explored quite a bit of the cave there. Yeah, you see here? There's a single piece of power there. Uh, Wiki shows compound is uncommon. Okay. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff we've left here, but we're just gonna head back now, if I can remember. Okay, so that was. We dug that hole out, so that's not it. 
Resin is listed as rare. Okay. So I remember... Oh, that's not... That is not a climbable surface. Let me fix this. So I'm going to guess on a Terran planet, resin and compound are not like they're ex very extremely common based on what we see so we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do some deliveries i think over there because we can't we can't really expand our base without it uh, okay. okay that's that uh, that rover did not do its job properly put that over or i didn't do my job properly this uh this path is not Flat enough. And we're running out of power again. Great. Uh, crap. Let me go run back again. Oh, shoot. Should have brought some more. More power. Grab. Where's that big one I found? Here it is. Can I bring another one? I'm going to try bringing one by hand. Let's bring this one here. Yeah, whoops. Look down that way. But yeah, it looks like it sounds like we're gonna need to do at least one delivery. Or at least one run back to the Terran planet. And that's not good. Okay, I wanna put this I'm gonna swap out this ammonium, put that power there. Guess we'll leave this power piece here. The wiki says exotic is another plant that has resin as common. Okay. We could go to another planet, but but again, we have to spend the resources to establish a base and do that, and I'd rather just focus on maybe the radiate plant for a bit. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I gotta go... Where? Oh, shoot. Where is the base? Okay, did we take a wrong turn here? Hold on. I remember seeing... Yeah, I remember this pole here, but then... What the heck is all this stuff up here? And where the hell is home? <laughs> okay, I think we're lost. Uh... So, let's see, let's backtrack. We went down this way. We... We found this satellite. I remember that. Actually, these two satellites here. So, we definitely came down this way. But... Hold on, they're gonna... There's no other... Oh, this way, maybe. No, that's a... Dead end. I'm a little confused because the way we're coming back here, there is this hole in the ground, which we I remember seeing this earlier to earlier in the stream, or just a few minutes ago. But then there's this all this growth up here, which I had to, did this just grow while I was gone? This seems seems a little excessive. I wonder if it, maybe it's because it's called the radiate plant, maybe all the plant life regrows extremely quickly. That would be a problem. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, so this is, we haven't explored this part. Gotcha. So we have to somehow... Oh no! Crap, crap. Okay, oof. He's almost fell into the pit of bobs there. You know what? I'm gonna fill this hole in. This is if I fall into there, that's 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 Nope. I'm not gonna land on top of them. Nope. There you go. Good. So I so yeah, we have to we are I forgot we have to actually the base is actually up here. So let's uh Let's get in there. Oh, actually, there's a piece of power there, and this research is kind of stuck. Pull that off. 
This is a deadly planet. Is this thing attached? Oh, there we go. Just sitting there. Alright, let's uh, head back. I guess we'll just go to the vehicle bay, I guess. That's a terrible parking job or whatever. Okay, we have some ammonium. Just dump that. I'm just putting resources. I'm not really organizing the resources. I'm just putting, putting them willy nilly, wherever I can see spots. Got some lithium on there. Let me take that off of your hands. Did I grab? I think I had another stash of lithium somewhere. Oh, yeah, over here. So I don't know where to put this. We had. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's. I'm just go. I'm just gonna run back to the shuttle because I remember putting that empty, that empty unit of em of medium storage. So let's just take that along, and we can use that to expand our storage. There it is. Oh, I should probably do something about this. Uh, those empty fuel canisters. So yeah, no, no resin, no compound. So I think we're gonna have to go back to the Terran planet. I mean, we could duplicate things or use trade platform. Actually, we could. Maybe a trade platform might make more sense, because then, because we have all these rare resources, they, they're probably worth a lot. Actually, that might be a better idea. Let's put this over here. Lithium. Yeah, I think, you know, let's build, let's build a, uh, oops, not the whole thing. Let's build a trade platform. I think that's the way, the other way we could do it is get a mineral extractor and do that, but I don't, actually, I think we already, we already have one, don't we? Yeah, we already have one right here. But in terms of soil, I haven't been really d been doing, doing very much. Reddit says, who are you trading with, though? Apparently, some sort of main base. If you remember on the title screen, uh, you actually launch from a big mothership, which you'd actually never see in the game, ever. But, um... Yeah, I think that's what... I think that's the entity that you're actually trading with. Okay, we're gonna need two aluminum, which... We just have. Okay. This might be the last of our aluminum. Till we smelt it. Okay. And this is not going to make any sense whatsoever, again, because we're underground and that rocket's going to hit the ceiling or go through the ceiling, but uh, I guess the devs haven't figured that out yet. Okay. So, let me just do a little inventory. We we do have some resin. We got more resin there. And some resin over there. Let me just put the resin next to each other. Benny says it, it, the, the, the base actually exists orbiting Terran. People manage to ramp up to it. Something you might want to try. I've never seen that. Or at least I've never seen it on the uh, the space map when we're traveling between stars. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what do we want to trade? We have six resin. We got some ammonium. Uh, I think I want to. I'm trying to think here. Okay, we got this soil canister. One thing I'm worried about is fuel. We're going to need to go back to other planets. We probably have just have enough fuel to get back to the moon. But uh, farther than that, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let me think. So, we got our power. Got our rover. 
we need to maybe maybe we should take maybe I'll, maybe Benny I'll take your suggestion maybe we can go do some surface uh, exploring maybe try to get to the, the poles ideally I'd like to move the shuttle closer to the uh, to one of the poles just to make it better there so for that we'll need some ammonium can we get ammonium from the trader let me see Ammonium, okay. And for that we'll need a hydrazine uh, catalyzer. So I'm going to have to find a good spot for this. There's not enough space down here. I think I'm going to have to kill some bobs here, fortunately. To make some space. Yeah, we'll need to get some resin to expand the base that way. Let me quickly do that. Make sure I have enough for that, I think. So one to expand, one more, two, two. Oh, ran out of space again. Uh, I'm just going to drop my casters here. Okay, so we expand the base this way. See how that looks. Okay, it's not too bad. And then this way we'll put in the hydrazine catalyzer. It's kind of on a different level than the mineral extractor, that's fine. Okay, then for this we need well, I guess we should get a smelter too. Maybe a smelter might be a better idea for now, because we have a lot of unprocessed laterite we could use. Let's get the compound here. Compound. I dig this out here. Okay, so no, no power, but let me at least put in... Let's grab my ladder right here. We also have that full load of copper, which I... Oh, it's, it's actually over here. We could use that to trade, maybe. But for now, I'm just going to put this stuff here. drop this power cell in here too. Uh, where is our lithium? Okay, lithium's over here. We actually might get a full full eight units of lithium here if we keep going. Okay, so hydrazine is what we need next. I think I'll maybe I'll build the hydrazine on this the the coal, the fuel producers over on this end here. It just seems to have a lot of space as well. But we do need resin, so let's go get resin first. And we have to choose what we want to trade away. Mm, I guess we'll trade away the copper. Start with four units of that. It should give us a full rack of resin. Let me see if I can plop this down here. Alternatively, we could just get titanium and uh, get that traded away because I don't see too much of a use for that. I'll give us eight resin. I'll just put these two in my backpack. goes right straight through the the cavern there. That makes absolutely no sense, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain. And while we're doing that, let's build our hydrazine collector. Right here, I think. It looks like I'll need I'm missing a piece of resin, but that's fine. 
should be back in a sec. Yeah. To be honest, I don't think I'm really like building underground bases. It, it just feels cramped. You don't really have the freedom. I really, I really like building the moon base because I could actually organize it to what I really wanted in the base. Here I just feel a bit, I don't know, claustrophobic. I'm gonna dump my canisters here. Okay, so let's go to our rocket, our trade rocket. I'll, I'll just leave it on there for now. Okay, so two pieces of resin. I have to dig this far side out. Oh! Is that compound? Wow. I found... <laughs> okay. That's pretty lucky. I found compound right next to my base. Oh, it's a big one, too. Ooh, jackpot. And I have no power. Great. That's pretty lucky. Actually, that, that make that also I should maybe I should maybe I should just expand the cave myself because I mean that's how maybe then I wouldn't be able to solve my space issues I'm having in, the, in down here. But that's pretty lucky to find compound there. Um, a bit of a power issue though. I'm not sure if uh, let's go check the uh, wind and solar thingy about thing of a bobber. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if there is any wind on this planet. This thing has not been turning at all. Wind turbines have been pretty, uh, honestly, pretty disappointing. And where is the sun? It's totally dark down here. We've got some laterite down here, too. Or whatever this is. Yeah, laterite. I'm not sure how I'm still digging though. This I have no power. It's kind of weird. Okay, where are you, son? Come on. Nope, oh, I'm gonna fall into there. There is a Terran planet, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait for the the sun before I can actually progress any further. This is a bit annoying. I could build a battery. But I don't know if that'll be overly useful. Maybe, maybe we should. Uh, let me see. We need our printer for that. It's over here. Where is our printer? Uh, did I make a printer? That's our trading platform. That's our... I'm actually might, might have forgotten to build a printer because that's our extractor. Yeah, I forgot to build a printer. So maybe um, maybe this should be our printer. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I have not built a printer, right, guys? Because I'm just looking around the base here. Because trading platform, vehicle bay. Where's our habitat? There's our extractor and their smelter down there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Fred says, try making a solar farm and a battery. Yeah, considering how much lithium I have, I think that is a good good call. I have, actually, I also have copper, too. So... Yeah, I think we're gonna make us we're gonna make another solar farm. We'll put I think for batteries, I think I'll put them actually along this this part here. I don't this is not a good spot for storage, I think, because I had to always walk up here. But putting them along this line would be a good spot for the batteries. Then we'll have the solar arrays on the end here. And probably do something about this wind turbine. I was gonna build a printer, but I was against it. Oh. Yeah, because I was low on resources, but now if we want batteries, we kind of need it. Okay, let's organize. I'm going to put this compound away. Uh, if I can find... Yeah, look over here. So that was organizing my compound in the, this little spot here. 
That's good we found that compound. We don't have to trade for that. Let me uh, take this resin off. We're going to build... So we need, the, we need to get the printer up. Then we'll build more, maybe one more solar array, and then also, uh, and then, uh, then the, of course, the batteries. And we can build, I believe, let's see how much lithium we have. Where is the lithium? There it is. So we have, yeah, we have probably t at least two batteries we can build there. Put that resin back. So it's just a matter of, uh, well, first we need some aluminum, aluminum, so let's go trade for that. Alterna or alternatively, we could smelt it. Oh, actually, there is power here. Oh, not, not that one, but over down here. Oh, but this, uh, unfortunately, this smelter was almost finished charging. If it had, we could have just gotten aluminum right away. But, uh... It looks like, looks like we're out of luck there. Or no, actually, I think we use a power cell for that. Do I still have a power cell on this thing? I have some from the rover, but one thing I wish you wish we could do is transfer uh, power directly from the rover to a building. That would be pretty useful. I'm gonna put this dynamite somewhere. I'm gonna. Find a good spot for it. Let me put it with the lithium. See, so yeah, power issues right now. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so we're mo mainly just gonna have to wait. I think I can... For some reason I can still dig. Though without no any power. Which is weird. I feel like this is a bug in the game. Because you're not supposed to be digging... Oh, there we go. Oh, power's coming in now. You're not supposed to dig when you have no power. I'm not sure what's going on there. But this is... Oh, I found some malachite too. But this is a nice, hefty... Nice, hefty uh, find of compound, though I should fill in this hole a little bit. Oops. Because we might we might also try to expand the base in this direction, and this would be a good spot to do it. Put some additional buildings down here. And he says, "I think it makes sense. The augments are taking the power. When you run out, it returns to normal." Oh, hey, Pine. Yep, uh... I'm streaming... I'm gonna try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's my regular schedule. So in case you didn't know about that, well, now you know. Ooh, laterite up there. I can't even see up there. Wow, a lot of stuff in here. I mean, if you... Pine, if you follow me on Twitch or Twitter, you also get a notification when when I go live. I did post my schedule on Twitter as well. So I don't know if you have an I don't know if you have an excuse, Pine. <laughs> okay, let's dump our compound. Ooh, actually, that is a lot of compound. Wait, it's not Thursday, is it? It's Wednesday. Am I, am I being silly? I don't know. Alright, let's uh, process this into aluminums. I can also grab these guys here. I'm actually going to put this excess compound also back up here. Get in there. Get into my back. No, don't do that. And he says, that being said, you should take off the augments, therefore more power would be going to your base. Uh, I don't know if I... I think we have got enough power now. I think it's the case that we just need batteries. And 
I'm noticing that it is harder to dig anything in this on this planet. It is the, the ground does seem a lot more uh, resistant to digging. So I'm gonna actually going. I think keeping them on is actually a better idea. Okay, well that's happening. Let's trade our two. Actually, no. Let's build our printer. Wow, I've got so much ladder right now. Printing our printer. Yo, dog. Pine says, uh, anyway, how's the exploring going so far? Uh, I guess you could say interesting. We're on the radiated planet. Uh, building my new underground base, which is kind of a cramped little setup right now. And we're just I'm just trying to f get some better power. Probably make another power or battery array, just like on the moon. Okay, where's bad? No. Uh, generator, habitat, solar panel. Copper, which we do have some of. Over here. But I gotta process more laterite. Hold on. Let me go in here. And then... Oh, then it's gonna fall out. Whoops. Ah. Almost. Okay, now I need more medium storages because we're starting to get... I definitely need one over here. Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm just balancing everything right now. So let's put the aluminum on this thing. Grab, let's pull that malachite off. Okay. And then... Grab this aluminum off here. As well as that part there. I think we'll probably trade some of the aluminum away. Since we have quite a bit of it now. Okay, now let's go get the copper. Let's see, one, two, two pieces. Let's go put it over here. Pine says, I see you've already set up your base here. What would be some tips to get started on this radiant planet? Uh, bring lots of resin. Bring lots of compound. The resin and compound are considered uncommon on this planet. And honestly, I have I was really lucky that I found the compound just next to my base right here, just, just now. Uh, but it's the only resource, the only compound that I've found on this planet. I have not seen any resin so far. So, yeah. You're going to see lots of exotic goods like lithium, titanium... Malachite, Laterite, all that stuff. That's really, that's actually a lot more common on this planet. But in terms of the basics, like compound or resin, uh, you're kind of out of luck there. And so yeah, we're going to put the batteries along down this path here. So let's go grab some of our lithium. Yeah, lithium's actually pretty somewhat abundant on this planet. Definitely a lot better than we found on the other planets so far, which is pretty good. So if you if you want lithium, this is the planet to go, I think. So battery. I, mean, I could probably start charging it right now. Let's get, grab the other pieces of lithium there. But yeah, after this, I think we're going to go do some surface surface exploring. Maybe try to get to the mines. Um, actually, what I was originally trying to do was get a hydrazine collector. Or a catalyzer so we get some fuel. Because we're kind of running low on that as well. But it sort of turned into, okay, before we, need, before we can do that, we need a printer. 
We need to improve our power situation because we can't char power any buildings. Yeah, so. Oh, hey, Fazdar. Uh, his qu uh, you have a question there. Is the game still all exploration gathering building or have they added in any types of creatures yet? Uh, I'm not entirely sure because I only started playing this after their what, what they call the research updates that they did uh, late last year. Um, in terms of creatures, I'm not sure if they've added any new ones. It's still very much exploring at least the research. I haven't seen this screen yet. At least you don't get all the buildings at, at once, so you do have to get research and uh, spend research points to get all the buildings. So there is that element in here. But as you can see, I've already researched pretty much everything now. So once you get to that point in the game, then... Honestly, in my opinion, it does sort of not get as, get as exciting, because now there's nothing else to research, nothing else to explore. Except for the other planets. So that is something I think they need to work on. I'm going to guess Vazdar. That's 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 uh trying to trying to give you an idea of whether you want to purchase the game or not, or maybe or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you've played it already. Okay, so we got our two batteries up. Looks kind of interesting. Looks looks like kind of little yellow things in the distance up the up there. All right, hydrazine catalyzer. That is what we wanted to build. We'll probably build it right next to the printer. Put one over there. Pine says, after I've done all the research and explored the planet, feels like there's not much left. Yep. There, again, it's still an early alpha game, so... In terms of content, they... They haven't really put very much. I think one thing that would really, really expand the game a lot is maybe some sort of story, honestly, like some sort of narrative. Because you're exploring all the, these planets and all you're getting are just these random pieces of satellites and wreckage. But if you could like get like special clues, you know, try to pin them together, maybe like a treasure map even, like those sort of things, that'd be pretty cool. Nope, you just... <laughs> Pine just asked anything particular you want to see added to the game. Yeah, that's pr I pretty much just answered it, so... Um. Okay. Uh, oh, I have, I have some resin right here. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> We're getting distracted by what we want in the game, but I'm, I have to focus on actually doing stuff right now. Okay, give me... I forgot, I need one more piece of resin. Whoops. I mean, I need some fuel. So we can go explore some po some north and south poles. Alternatively, maybe I should just bring the rover up there and just do it by foot, but... The problem is, I don't know which way is north. <laughs> or south. That might be a bit of a problem. But it would make it easier to explore, though, because when when we land, I won't have the rover there. Hydrazine catalyzer. Copper. I think we can use the last of our copper, which is hiding way over here. So we'll put that in. And then... Oops. Let me go grab this array. Oh, I made a weird, weird sound there. It's an array of canisters, which we'll put our fuel in. It's missing a canister, so let me just dump one of these into my soil. I think one other thing I'd like to see maybe is maybe more uses for canisters. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can use it for both, for either soil or um, fuel, but maybe some, maybe just a couple more resources you can use, or oh, that would be cool. Oh, Benny says, uh, if you put the cursor on yourself, you, you'll get, you'll get a compass. Okay. I never, 
never noticed that. So maybe we can use the... We should try doing it using the rover. It might take a while for us to get over there, though. But in any case, even though... I'm not, I haven't decided whether we'll take the shuttle or the rover to the poles. But... At the very least, getting more fuel is, is not a bad idea. Because, uh... You know... Want to go to another planet or something. Won't say no to that. So I'll take our four ammonium in there. And cook that. Do I have to say, ammonium does... It feels like I'm... Ammonium kind of looks like cocaine in some ways. <laughs> it's kind of yellowy. Kind of powdery. It feels like I'm cooking drugs or something. See, if I put my... Oh, I see. So if I put my cursor like this... Interesting. So it does show you where north and south is. Alright. Got my... Got my drugs. Let's put the drugs back in here. Uh, yeah, I think... Let's take the rover. I think that's what we're gonna do. I do need to dump some stuff, though. Let me... Put this malachite away. Got some extra aluminum. <laughs> shuttle's getting... Benny says, your shuttle's getting high, literally. Very funny, Benny. <laughs> oh, by the way, Benny, or anyone else, uh, if we're going to go to the poles, is there anything I should be taking with me? Uh... I think I think I'm gonna take the rover, so we're gonna take uh, good old rover here, and uh, you know I think maybe you know what maybe I think it's I think I'm gonna I'm actually gonna build a large storage on this thing because and and put some medium storage on it because uh, on this planet there's actually a lot of surface materials as well, so. Let's do that. The large storage, and we have a bunch of compound anyway, so that's very convenient. Might as well use this up. Pull that over here. And he says, make some beacons as well. You can mark your way back to base. Okay, that's a good idea. I should play with beacons more. Okay, so that's going. Let's build those, uh, let me see. I mean, we have compound, but it's not, it's not unlimited. So let me go build, start, let's build some beacons right now. It's actually this way. There we go. I'm not sure how many I should build. Maybe, let's start with two for now. And then I'll use the rest of this compound for medium storage, which we'll put on the large storage. And we might have to trade again for some more compound. Start with these two. Actually, well, let's, you know, let's, let's try to multitask. We have some excess aluminum. So I'm going to trade... Let's see, let's put our... I'd like to trade aluminum for compound, please. Oops. Put that on there. That's four. I think we'll put two more. So much aluminums. Oops. And I'm walking in the wrong direction. So we'll put the aluminum on this trade rocket. So by the time we get back, we'll have more compound. There it goes through the ceiling. And let's get some medium storage. Mmm, medium storage. Nope, it's, yeah, we have to wait for it to recharge. And that's the end of our power. Great. And even the batteries are out. Alright, so, uh, that's not good. 
Definitely if we find any more lithium, we're going to build some more batteries, so we don't run into this sort of situation. Uh, but while that's happening, let's go put our medium storage away. I mean, if I really want to, I could just grab some of these empty ones, or reorganize a bit. Like, this one has all their tethers. I think I can move those off somewhere else. Maybe... It's about to actually put them all on our resin one. Hmm. I want to put four medium storage on my, uh, on my thing here. Look at all that medium storage. So we need... Uh, I don't know, we're not going to be collecting any more research, so we actually don't need any of these empty slots. So we could make this all, to be honest, all medium storage if we wanted to. Okay, the trade rocket's back. We got even more compound. But we have no power. No power, Captain. We're... And the day-night cycle on this planet is so long, we're going to have to wait a bit. Um, we're going to have to find something else to do while I'm doing that. Actually, let me go... I want to just check this cavern here, because we saw... There's some ladder right up there. I mean, we could... I don't have my caster. Could try to grab some more of that. I mean, this, this almost feels like it's going to go back up to the surface eventually. Oh, jeez. Piece of... Like, if I keep digging this way, I'll probably... Yeah, see, right? See, we're already right up at the surface here. I've created a third entrance to my cave. Woohoo. It looks like the sun's coming out finally again. Is that a gas cloud? What is this thing? Lots oh, some gas bags. Okay. Let's not go near the gas bags. They stink. Okay, the power's back on, so let's make our medium storage. Then I'll actually I'll just Push that button while I move this over. Yeah, I'm going to try to fill all of these slots. This is, this is going to be a long expedition, I think. Let's pull this off. Oh, push that. And we'll get going. And he says, medium storage will be forever tarnished. And I'm going to say that's not my fault. That is not my fault at all. That is because certain people in chat have dirty minds. Okay, I think what I'm going to do actually is... Uh, I think I want to take a break. I've been streaming for almost two, one and a half, two hours now. But if, I think first, at the very least, let me bring this rover up to the surface before I do that. Let's go up this way. And I'm not sure which way I should go. Actually, let's take a look. Do we want to go to the south or the north? Because I'm not sure... Like, when we looked at our landing location... I'm not sure whether it was closer to the South Pole or the North Pole. Benny has a suggestion, a wind turbine on the side of your seat. Oh, I, yes, I haven't... I haven't actually... That's actually a good point. I haven't actually put any power systems on there. Let's go quickly do that. And then, oh, I got a piece of laterite also in here. Yeah, we do... Passive power is a good idea. I'll smelt that later. Okay, so we'll take this piece of aluminum, get a small wind power thingy. Maybe we should get a solar one as well, but we don't have any copper. But we do have, actually, 
I'm gonna do a bit of jerry rigging here. This is my only piece of malachite on this planet, but I'm gonna duplicate that. It's probably gonna take up probably get two pieces out of that one. And actually, I should probably keep, just like on the moon base, I should probably keep one piece of laterite and malachite. I'll put it on my habitat. Like that. I'll grab this one over here. So that in case we need to duplicate that for additional copper aluminum, we can do that. We got two pieces here. I think I'll make a solar panel as well. Or a small solar panel. So we have wind and solar in that front seat. Let's put this here. Small solar. Okay. So now instead of the medium storage at the front of my rover, we're gonna put these two power sources here. Yeah, that was a good suggestion, Benny. Thank you. Because I... I don't want to just... I'd probably... If I didn't put that there, I'd probably just run out and... We'd be stuck somewhere. But at the very least, let's get out of this cave. Oh, this is the cave I dug out. Let's go to the other one. Uh, I can't drive properly. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Sort of. Let's go back to the shuttle at least, and then we can choose a direction from there if I can get out. Here we go. The question is, I don't know if this, these two, oh geez, these two solar and winds might not, still not, might still not be enough. Oh, come on. Jesus. All right. So we might have we might have to wait for a bit for it to charge. Okay, this thing is this thing is very very rambunctious. Maybe, maybe I should try bringing a. I could bring the medium wind turbine, perhaps. Maybe that might be a better idea. Okay. So, I think we're good for now. Looks like another storm's coming in. So I'm going to be taking a... Let's take another five-minute break. I think I'll stay in my rover. Then after we come back, we're going to choose a direction and head to the pole, or one of the poles, of the radiant planet. So, um, uh, so yeah, don't go anywhere. Uh, I'll be back in five minutes, and I'll see you then.